Hi, in this video we're going to talk about Windows previous versions or shadow copies as they're also called and what they are is that they are older versions of files that are made copies of periodically so if you need to go back to a previous version of something it's easy to do so. So we have this text document here that's been here for a while so if we open it up we'll see that it's called data3 shrink that down a little there All right so if we right click on the file go to properties and go to the previous versions tab we can see there's some older versions here with the same name and here's the dates so if we open up one from 1024 click on open there it's just called data and then the version on 1025 we click on that it was changed to data 2 for the text in there and then 1028 should probably be the one we just looked at so data 3 so you can see if you let's say you made some changes and you want to go back to the older version you could go back to here and open it and save it as something else or you could go restore it to the same location or restore it to a different location if you restore the same location it'll overwrite the one that you have there currently so to set this up it's pretty simple it's different um, for Windows 10 now compared to other versions so I have a Windows 7 VM running here so I'll show you that way first the older way so if you click on start right click on computer go to properties and then advanced system settings and then what you want to do is find the system protection tab and then down here where it says configure restore settings and so on click on configure now it's the system protection can keep copies of system settings and previous versions of files that's the keyword there select what you would like to be able to restore okay so we have system settings and previous versions of files and then you can allocate how much disk space is used for that it'll give you kind of a default based on what it thinks you need so you could slide that up and down and you could also delete all previous versions from here as well so that's how you do it in Windows 7 so but in Windows 10 which we're on here is a little different so you could do the same thing right click go to this PC or system within control panel because I, have, I don't use the Windows 10 start menu properties and the same looking thing here advanced system settings system protection but you'll notice it doesn't have anything about the previous versions here if we click on configure it's just turn on system protection or disable system protection it does have this disk space usage where you could still adjust for it but it will still do shadow copies you just need to make sure that the shadow copy service is running so to do that you would go to your services several ways to do that but you could just type in services.msc from the search or probably from Cortana as well and that will bring up services and we want to go down to volume shadow copy so it might be disabled if that's the case that's why it's not working for you so what you want to do is double click it or right click properties and change it from disabled to automatic and if it's not running click on start and that way it'll start and be running and then it'll start making the shadow copies and that you'll be able to do the same thing in Windows 10 as you used to do in Windows 7 and then actually this example here is in Windows 10 so we know that it does work that way. Um, there's also another program called uh, Shadow Explorer which is a free program that'll read these shadow copies as well because not all versions of Windows support previous versions I believe so that might be something that comes in handy and we have a video on that and also a uh, article on our page so you can check that out as well. Alright, thanks for watching.